Hello. Here we will analyze the first come first served CPU scheduling algorithm. If you are not quite sure what CPU scheduling, ready queue, or short term scheduler are, see our video CPU scheduling, ready queue, short term scheduler. We have a bunch of processes waiting in the ready queue to use the CPU. The first come first served approach takes the easiest approach and treats the ready queue as a real queue. The first process in the ready queue is the next one to use CPU. Processes that enter the ready queue take their place at the end of the line. The first come first served approach is a non-preemptive scheduling algorithm. So once the process gets access to the CPU, it uses it for as long as it needs. Let's see what happens when three processes simultaneously arrive in the ready queue to the initially idle processor. The table here shows the order in which these processes grab their places in the ready queue. First is process A, next is process B, and last is process C. Additionally, the table shows the duration of the next CPU burst for each process. For the purposes of this problem, you can imagine that each process has only one CPU burst. If this is the order in which the processes grab their places in the ready queue, then this is the order in which they will use the CPU. This is the idea of the first come, first served scheduling algorithm. Here we have the time scale, and the initial moment when all processes arrived is the moment zero. Process A is the first in the line, so it will run first from moment 0 to moment 30, because its CPU burst is 30 milliseconds long. When process A finishes using the CPU, process B starts. Process B uses the CPU for only 3 milliseconds, from 30 to 33. Then process C uses the CPU from 33 to 42 milliseconds. This picture that we drew here is called a Gantt chart. It is a standard way to illustrate how the scheduling algorithms work. Let's compute an average waiting time. This is the average time that these three processes have spent in the ready queue. Process A spent no time in the ready queue because it was admitted to the CPU right away. Process B waited in the ready queue from moment 0 to moment 30, while process A was using the CPU. Therefore, process B spent 30 milliseconds waiting. Process C spent 33 milliseconds in the ready queue from moment 0, when it arrived, to moment 33, when it was finally admitted to the CPU. Next, to compute the average waiting time, we add the waiting times of all processes and divide this sum by the number of processes. Here is the formula. Total waiting time divided by the number of processes. In our case there are three processes, therefore the average waiting time for this example is 21 milliseconds. In general, we want to keep the average waiting time low. So how good is 21 milliseconds in this example? Actually pretty bad. The same three processes scheduled by the shortest job first algorithm would have given an average waiting time of 5 milliseconds. Therefore, first come first served provides a poor average waiting time, which is not good. On the other hand, this algorithm is very simple and makes a choice very quickly. The faster the short term scheduler makes the decision, the more time the CPU spends working with user applications. Let's summarize what we have discussed. The first come first served approach is a CPU scheduling algorithm. The first come first served approach admits processes to use the CPU in the order in which they have arrived in the ready queue. In other words, first come first served uses the ready queue as a real queue. The first come first served algorithm is non preemptive. The first come first served algorithm tends to have a poor average waiting time. However, this algorithm is very simple and very fast. That is it. Thank you for being with us.